hello pile number one pile number one today we are going to make a topic um, that is going to refer to your future spouse friends uh, around them so I'm going to take a first uh, firstly, I'm going to take a few of the cards that are going to represent some people. So we are going to receive several people in uh, their surroundings. Uh, and we are going to a little bit analyze who is whom and how they are going to, what they are going to feel and what they are going to think about you. So we will, we will take, for example, five. I think that that is totally enough. Although probably, of course... Your future spouse is going to have many more people than five people, but these are the people who are, let's say, more important or closest to them, and uh, they are very important in their lives. So, first of all, I want to see who are those people, and we are going to take some uh, cards concerning that, and then after that, we are going to see relations um from them to you um what i want to say is that how they see you what they think about you how they're going to accept you and so on so i'm going to also take um maybe a few of oracles i really want to receive that vibe of the people uh, involved so i think that oracles are going to give me a little bit more information concerning the feeling itself let's see and let's now dive into your cards to see what you received so you received uh, one king we have one queen we have one ace and i will explain to you what uh what is in my thought concerning that we have one um boy how i call it and another king so let's let's start with this king and let's see what the cards are there i'm going to pull everything a little bit upwards um i don't know if we are going to... okay i'm going to put it like this so that we receive everything uh within the within the screen so that you can see everything i think now it is visible uh so we have knight of pentacles and we have purpose then we are going to take this queen and we are going to open up the next set of the cards. We have queen of wands and we have immerse. Then we have an ace. And with the ace we have three of pentacles and heal. Then we have this boy. We have three of cups and ponder and again we have this king here with the queen of pentacles and forgive okay so first of all we are going to dive a little bit like i said in uh, who are those people for start so this with this king we have uh, we have a feeling of this mature energy and uh, we are going to literally interpret this above card so we are going to talk about a uh, a male figure who is quite older than your future spouse and they are very very close to this person with this knight of pentacles we can say that they could be also uh, somebody that they are working with so it could be their boss or it could be somebody who is uh, uh, their partner or somebody who is more experienced than than they are but with this knight of pentacles it could be somebody with whom they are working with so somebody connected with some kind of monetary plane because with this purpose we see that um, they have a purpose together with this person so this person could be a colleague but could also be a friend it could also be a boss but i think that it is more appropriate that we say that it is a colleague because they have a mutual purpose and they probably are working together with this queen here we see this queen of wands and we see this immerse so this could also um, be how i feel this card um, with this queen of wands so we are receiving two times this queen this could also be a little bit more mature energy and this could be a female figure that is um, a little bit older as well maybe more mature and it could also be a mother figure in this case so this could be a mother figure that they are simply very close to 
uh, and uh, that they are probably their mother, if this is a mother and it seems like it is to me, uh, it could be that they are the one who are basically pushing them all of their life. So they are the ones who are giving them strength and the fire and support to be and to do what they love to do. With this immerse, you know, they are somebody who is uh, part of everything, part of their life long. So it could be mother because uh, they are sharing all of the experience and since they were a child. With this ace, we see a very young person here because for me, this ace is a very young person. So this is somebody who is um, younger than they are. It could be also a friend or it could be um, it could be a relative. Now, we cannot determine it this, but with this uh, three of pentacles here, uh, I could say that this could be uh, some kind of maybe even a colleague again because we have a three of pentacles. So somebody who is maybe again a colleague uh, and they are working with and they are also friends but uh, at the same time they are much younger than they they are so it could be another friend here but now younger and here with this uh, boy here um, I would say that this person is around the same age as they are and they are their best friend with this three of cups we can see that they share really a lot together that probably uh, they were, you know, going out in the youth, uh, depending how uh, how old your future husband will be, you know, at the time when you are going to meet them. But uh, I'm now talking about their youth. So they were really, really close with this person. Uh, they <laughs> bridged over many things together and overca overcome over many, many obstacles and barriers. So this is somebody who is very important to them. This is, I would say that this is their best friend. And then we are coming here to this uh, king again, uh, under which we also see this queen of pentacles and forgive. I think that this could be the father figure. Uh, it is also connected with uh, pentacles here, but now we see this queen of pentacles and this is somehow... I don't know, the vibe that I'm getting is also a little bit of parenting vibe. It's like somebody who was taking care of them and somebody who um, was maybe harsh towards them in the growing up, but they're still very important figures. So this is why we have this forgive, because maybe that when they grew up, they understood that their father was like that towards them because uh, he wanted to actually um raise them in a good way in a good manner so that they know how to take care of themselves and this is this was maybe a little bit rough from their side and they needed to find understanding and forgiveness but um, no matter that the relationship is still important and it is there and it is quite strong so these are the people who are the closest people to your future uh, your future spouse and now i want to see how you are going to be accepted um by by them so i'm going to take two cards for every person and we are going to uh dive a little bit deeper into that so we are going to see uh, what they will think of you uh, or what they are going to how they are going to accept you so let's see um, what informations can we receive in this reading okay so i'm going to now open your cards pile number one we have emperor reversed and we have page of chalices. This is good. Now we have um, reversed ten of cups, and we have the devil. Okay, we have the hierophant reversed, and we have three of chalices. And here we have the fool with queen of wands. And the last cards are. Reversed seven of pentacles. Let me just a little bit adjust this. And six of wands. So to dive in uh, into this next stage of this reading, we can say that this figure here, who is that mature, 
man who is also their friend, but I could also say maybe one kind of a mentor as well, somebody that they are respecting very much and they are listening. But they are very, they are also friends and colleagues, probably they're working together. So they are going to definitely give you their approval, uh, them, their approval concerning you, because what they are going to advise them is that um, sometimes in life we need to really uh, give up the, the forms, the strict forms that society or people around us put on our back or condition. And they're going to tell them that what is more important, what is more beautiful than the feelings. And uh, when you open up the heart and your feelings can freely flow into another person and they are, uh, they are being returned back to you. So they are definitely going to have some kind of conversations with this person about you. And it is going to be very supportive. They are going to um, definitely push them towards this love and this connection, giving them uh, like a thumbs up connected with uh, with starting something very serious, start, starting a new life with you. Um, approving that that is more important that stru than structures or money or business or being, you know, like on some kind of position or throne. Uh, connected with this mother figure that we, we, we have here, we see that we see this uh, 10 of cups reversed and we see this devil card. The both cards are not really positive cards and i think that this will refer to the beginning of, uh, of relationship beginning of the marriage it could be that um their mother could be quite protective because they could maybe be a little bit afraid that maybe you want to use their child and i think that they will not um have I'm sorry that I have to say that, but I have to be honest in what I see. So maybe in the beginning they will not think that uh, that you will have a very happy future. However, this is definitely something that it is within this person, and it's going to change within their minds. Uh, through time, at the beginning, I think that sometimes it's even natural, normal that parents are protective and that they are not um, always <laughs> positive on first. You need to give them time and they need to take the time to know you and to know who you are so that they can fully accept you. When they will see that you don't have any ill intentions and when they will see that your marriage is going to last and bring a beautiful fruit, to, to your relationship uh, with your spouse and others, then of course uh, this mother figure will also get on board and change this, um, this vibe. With this ace, uh, we can see this young person and this young person is somebody who with whom um, maybe this is going to be even included in... Um, some kind of gatherings with you. So I have a feeling like maybe you could also spend some time with this person as well. Because we see this Hierophant, uh, Hierophant reversed, which is something that is um, unconventional. And we see this tree of uh, chalices. So I have a feeling like maybe you could go out together, have a dinner together with this person, with them. Or this person could be somebody who could become your friend as well through time. Um, I have a feeling like it will be somebody who is going to be very warm and very fun, full of humor, and you will love spending time actually with this person. Um, this person here, their best friend, we see really, really interesting cards here because we see the fool and we see the queen of wands. So their best friend is going to be absolutely uh, fascinated with you. They are going to see you as a very beautiful person, full of energy and fire. Uh, somebody who has enough um, charisma, you know, somebody who is different from others, who is very original, who has some kind of energy around. And they are really going to like you very much. They are going to... Um, they are, they are going to like you immediately because they really love your future spouse as a person. And for them, their happiness is the most important. And when they will see your future spouse happy with you, they are going to be more than happy for both of you. And also they are going to be part of your life. Uh, with this father figure here, we can see that um, the father will uh, definitely... He, he will definitely put some kind of pressure on your future spouse concerning your connection in the way that they will want them to 
do their duty <laughs> so you know like to finish the things before you get into marriage they will uh, very much insist on that that they become a man that they were teaching or a woman that they were teaching them to be so uh, whatever the gender is the father had uh, has uh, certain expectations for your future spouse they need to be in a cer certain ways so they are going to definitely insist on them being the perfect version of themselves not to give up on, on anything and not to stop improving for you because uh, they want to in a way it's like almost they were raising your future spouse for this so that they would show what kind of person they are and what, what they can offer and what they can be to you so uh, since this is the only little bit, uh, I don't know, weird energy there, I really want to take one more card so that we can um, clear this energy out. And this is actually the beautiful card and the card that we really needed to receive here. And this is patience card, which means that this will change and this will be just the, the beginning, a little bit skeptic, protective vibe. But you have to stay patient and you have to stay what you are and who you are. And uh, this mother figure will also give you uh, her approval concerning everything. Just it will not be right away. You have to a little bit wait and you will have to stay who and how you are, pile number one. So this was your reading for today. I hope that you really enjoyed it. Um, uh, it is really, really full, full of information. So I hope that you will get uh, clarity and peace. This is why we are doing this. And I want to say if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, like or share. If you have a feeling like you want to comment something or share your story with the, with the others, you are fully welcome to do that. And I thank all of you that subscribes lately and those who are following me from the start. Uh, it is really beautiful. I appreciate you so much and thank you so much for being around. Uh, see you very soon and have a beautiful day or evening wherever you are. Bye. Hello, pile number two. Pile number two. Today we are going to make a reading connected with your future spouse, closest family or friends. We are, we are going to see what we are going to receive. But the point uh, is to receive some people, to see people who are closest to them. We are going to take five of them. And then we are going to detect firstly who is whom. So who are those people to your future spouse? And then when we determine who is whom, then we are going to see also um, how these people are going to uh, accept you. Okay? So we are going to take, let me see which cards, these ones, uh, so that we receive the more information about all of them. going to take it like this okay and I'm going to take a little bit of oracles so that we also receive the the vibe I want to have a feeling you know what this person means to your future ha uh, has husband or wife and uh, what I mean, these are five most important people, so they are here with the reason. But I want to definitely see what they are to them so that we would also know uh, how they are feeling towards you. We have a queen. We have nine of cups. And we have empathy. I think that everything you can see. Then we have queen again. And we have five of cups, nine of cups, five of cups, interesting. And then we have gratitude. Then we have this boy, how I call, it, call him. And we have two of pentacles and closure. Okay. Then we have this is, I'm going to explain to you what is this as well. I'm not reading reversals for for this card, so we are going to we are going to take everything straight. 
four of pentacles and reflect and as our last card we see again a boy with six of wands and impulse okay so pile number two now we are going to dive a little bit firstly into these people to see who they are so this queen we are going to read these cards literally as they are concerning the gender so we see here a little bit mature woman uh, actually, we see two women here uh, that are very close and very important in your future uh, spouse life, in their life. Those two figures are very important. And with this uh, nine of cups and uh, five of cups, I can see that both of, both of them are very supportive. They are very, very close to them. I have a feeling that you see here with this five of cups we receive this beautiful energy of taking care so this woman is definitely somebody who is taking care of them somebody who is always there when it is a dark dark moment of a soul to show them the light to to somehow make them feel that everything that it is bad it's going to pass and that everything is going to be okay at the end of uh, of the story with this gratitude you know we feel that this woman is also somebody who they are appreciating so much they're grateful they are so so grateful to have have them in in their life and with this woman, we see a little bit different vibe. We see that this woman is an um, initiator, somebody who is uh, manifest, man manifesting something, somebody who is extremely skillful and has this beautiful energy of creating. And what vibes are coming here through this uh, to me is that this woman could be their mother and this woman could be their sister. I, I'm receiving this kind of energy. So with this mother figure here, we see that they are having a very supportive mother, somebody who is there in every segment of their life, but not too much. You know, this woman is not um, all the time present in everything like controlling figure. She's basically there uh, as a background support so when they need her they come to her and when something happened to them they are the ones who are coming back to her it's not like she needs to know everything and she's always everywhere and and she's like dominating their child or something like that or controlling no i don't receive this that vibe i see that this person is very beautiful very generous person very calm down very peaceful very wise and they are their big support in life this could be, like I said, a sister or this could be some kind of maybe niece or somebody. Maybe it could be also the best friend, but I somehow I'm receiving this uh, sister card, especially because it is placed next to this mother card that I feel as a mother. But this is a general reading, so please take it with a... Um, take it a little bit, uh, you know, uh, that it is a general and that it can be many, many, many uh, options here. Uh, so watch carefully how you are feeling and how you are resonating. And that is how it is the best way to, to follow the reading. So this energy here is somebody who is, um, who is having a lot of power uh, of manifesting. Somebody who is all the time in action. Somebody who is doing something all the time. And I see that your future spouse is going to see this person as some kind of role model. Somebody who is going to inspire them that everything is possible and everything can be done. Uh, I also see this communication with this person that it's always going to be full of empathy, full of understanding, full of mutual uh, understanding, very warm feelings. So for those who are asking themselves, who are uh, women in this reading, listening this reading and asking themselves, who are these, uh, who are these women? Who is this wo woman beside my future spouse? I can say to you that there are no sexual energies there. So it is very clean. It is very, very pure energy. And of course, for the male readers, we don't need to say because this uh, woman is going to be a big support and is going to be very positive and you don't have also any any reason to have any kind of doubt that there is something wrong there with this boy here we see this two of pentacles and we see this closure so with the pentacles i can say that this is a younger person 
Um, but by younger, I mean maybe even uh, the same age, like your future spouse. And it is somebody with whom they're experimenting. Like they are, I, I see, I have a feeling like it could be their colleague and a friend. Somebody with whom they are doing some kind of business or some kind of project, but they're also their friend at the same time. Because with disclosure, um, there is a feeling like their their relationship is not fully deep, like, like there is some kind of boundary. And with these pentacles, we feel that there is something connected with money. So I can say that, uh, that I feel that this could be like a colleague and a friend as well, but somebody who is very present in their life. Now with this ace, here we see a very young person. This could be this could be many many options. So this could be somebody who is um, um, for a very little uh, group of you. This could be their child, maybe from a previous marriage, but for majority of you. This could be somebody who is in the family, maybe even their younger, younger sibling. You know, we don't see if it is a, it is a male or if it is a female, but it is a younger person here. And with this four of pentacles, again, we see this uh, and with this reflect again, we see somehow I'm receiving uh, energy of a person who is connected formally. But uh, there is no that deep, deep connection. That is why I said that it could maybe be some kind of maybe half sibling uh, that it is that it was born later than they were born. And they because we have this reflect, so it could be that they see themselves in them. They are similar. They are they are very similar to each other because they are brothers or sisters. I don't know. Um, or you know what I mean, they are sister or the brother uh, of that theirs. And uh, the, the energy is like that, that there is some kind of formality, some kind of formal re relationship is there, but there are no deep, deep emotions. It's like they don't have this deep connection, but they are very important still and they are very present in their life. And with this last card, with this boy, uh, I could say that this is their best friend. So I see this person as their best friend. This is somebody with whom they were going through absolutely everything in their life. So whenever there were some kind of crazy things that they needed to go through, like when they were younger or uh, also this is a vibe of concerts and having fun and doing a little bit risky things, you know, being foolish and so on. I have a feeling like this person was their their body. It was somebody who was going with them in all of those <laughs> crazy adventures um, or trips or, you know, everything that they were doing. They were actually, you know, two of them. And I have a feeling like also this person is a different culture than they are. So maybe it could be somebody who is coming from a different country or a different skin color or some kind of different cultural background. But definitely this is their best friend and they are they are very close. They are very close and they are very different in nature, but they're very compatible and they really love each other uh, a lot. Okay, so these are the people that are surrounding your future spouse. And now when we know more about them, now we are going to take a few cards about how they're going to accept you or what they're going to think about you. Uh, and how you're going to fit in uh, within, you know, these people's lives as well. I mean, you know how everyone uh, has people that uh, are surrounding them and then they are talking with those people uh, concerning their feelings about somebody, especially if... Uh, especially if, the, if there, the, the connection is new or the marriage is new and... Oops, okay... I'm going to take everything that it is popping out. So it is natural. We are also like that. We always share with other people something significant that it is happening to us in our life. I think that that is very natural. And it is also natural that we care about how other people think about us. Um, because we are not alone on this planet. And of course, we want to sit in a way to everyone around so let's see what are your cards. Here we see uh, the Five of Pentacles and the Fool. Here we see uh, Nine of Nine of 
swords reversed let me just sort this out and we see nine of swords okay whoop just a second this one flew <coughs> excuse me so here we see ace of wands and we have the hermit here we have nine of wands and we have the emperor and here we have the emperor again interesting and seven of chalices okay so upon number two um, with this we said best friend or sister energy we have this five of pentacles and we have the fall so what i feel here is that because they are the manifestator and they're somebody who is creating things you know so so this person she is very very active she's proactive she is really doing a lot of things at the same time and she's somehow very good in everything and um, she is definitely going to um, be worried concerning your spouse um, not maybe being able to give you as much as he should at the beginning so i have a feeling like with the fool uh, your spouse is going to totally lose uh, their head you know they're they going to lose their head so they're going to fall in love with you really really a lot and they will do everything that they can to be with you because that is the only thing they will see at that moment but they will not maybe at the at the first they will maybe not have prepared you know everything connected with finances so it's like they will not have uh, something concrete to offer you right away that doesn't mean that they will not have something to offer you they, that just mean that on the beginning of your connection they will still be still be in that process so this figure is going to be definitely here to support to give ideas to to pull them back to the ground to the earth and say hey you know you have to make this a little bit more realistic you have to gain more money or more security you have to offer uh, your spouse is something concrete something more you know something on the level because they have a really high criteria because they are like that so they are definitely going to push uh, your future spouse to uh, to come down to come back to the ground to come back to the earth to stop you know like fantasizing and being the uh, in their world of imagination because they're really going to be in love a lot and to to actually you know come down uh, to to the real real uh, life and to do some things that are necessary for your new beginning which i which i see as a very supportive way of thinking because uh, they are not just uh, here to observe and say yes i'm very happy for you they are also here to say okay it is beautiful it is great but now you have to take care of for and there will be a list you know that they are going to advise them to do which is very good uh, it means that they are caring about the well-being of both of you uh, in that material way as well with this uh, mother figure here and this uh, nine of swords reversed and this nine of swords i can say to you that um they are going to first of all they i have a feeling like they were very sad that their child for some time because this vibe it gives gives me the energy of some time that they could not find a partner and that was that was the the main problem you know they were very sad for their child not being to able to find a partner and when they are going to find you it is a period when they are actually going to start healing from that pain because there was a fear that their child will never find it it is a normal natural fear within you know that they will never find that person that that person that it is really compatible with them but when they are going to meet you they they are going to start you know realizing that they don't have to fear of that anymore then they don't have to be in any kind of uh, uh anxiety anxiety uh, concerning that and this nine of swords here um i have a feeling like this is this is i have a feeling like this is some kind of a cruel you know maybe destiny and this is them basically this is how their their mothers see them like you know like a little child because for them they will always be the little child 
and you know the brutal happenings of the life that they were always it was always something there uh, that was preventing them to find the person and i think that the mother is going to be focused mostly on that so they're going to be focused mostly on uh, on their you see the purpose so the mother is going to be mostly focused on the, their child actually going out of the cycle that they were they were in before maybe they were unlucky in love and as the mother you know it is close uh, she saw all of that and you know now when that cycle is finished they're finally going to feel that their life is uh, finally gonna start having a purpose and that is going to be very very positive and healing healing start because i have a feeling like i said they were very sad uh, concerning their la love life so you are going to be accepted because you're going to be like a new beginning for them but also a new hope for for their mother uh, so you are going to give a purpose for everything to to everything to her as well in a way with this boy over here that that we said that it is probably connected uh, with work so it could be like a colleague but also a friend i have a feeling like they're just going to exchange some words it's not since it is a not very deep relationship we see that with the sword and with the hermit they are definitely going to um, not expose too much to them and that person also will not have um any kind of deeper feeling or opinion because with this hermit i have a feeling that this is a person who is not actually you know putting the, their nose in other people's lives or businesses so this would be like approval but a verbal verbal approval they, they are not going to go into deeper details about you this person is going to say like congratulations and i'm happy for you and i'm really really glad that you finally found the person that you love and that you were waiting for but there will not be any kind of deeper you know like sense of conversation with this younger person who could be like i said for the majority of you this sibling of your person and for very little small amount of you maybe a child from the past marriage uh, this this person is going to be quite open you, you see this uh, nine of uh, wands is reversed that means that they will not be protective they are going to let you in they're going to let you in in their heart and they are going to open themselves to you with this emperor um, i have a feeling like this uh, person is looking at your future spouse as an some kind of authority as a person that they admire somebody who is a strong figure and they could rely on because they are much younger than they are so i think that uh, since uh, you will be their choice they are going to absolutely respect it and they are going to uh, totally like i said open up to you they are going to uh, be very communicative and they are not going to protect themselves with some kind of walls or not being uh, you know talkative and so on and so on so i think that you will be able to create a nice relationship with this person as well and uh, as a last part with this uh, best friend that we can see here <laughs> we see here the emperor and we see here the seven of chalices so uh, their best friend is going to be total, totally supportive but they're also going to be like pushing them into the marriage so they're going to be like okay but this is serious thing now you have to really do the right thing you have to marry this one you have to go to the end of it because you know like uh, um, time of fantasizing is beautiful you know we see that uh, lovers uh, fool card that it is also when somebody loses their head totally at least for me when i see this in my readings and with this seven of chalices here i also get that vibe of fantasizing or on being being a lot in their mind so i have a feeling like their their best friend is going to be like super supportive of uh, your relationship and they are going to really like you they are going to like that you are quite a strong person that you have strong personality and they are going to think that you are matching each other that is why we received two times this 
same card it's like you have the same um intensity of energy that can basically be balanced so it's not like one of you is very dominant and the other one is very submissive no the the vibe here is like you are equals and that is what their best friend is going to love the most about your relationship and uh he's going to really really support it fully but they are also going to um push you know your future spouse into the next step you know like to be more serious to get it to the next point to actually marry you and basically also because uh, probably he wants to be the best the best man you know on, on the wedding so that is probably also the secret reason but who else is going to be if not uh, if not this person because we see that they are really close and they basically went through the whole life together. So uh, I want to just take one more card for this one. So that uh, that we also clear this energy up. Observe. Yes. So this person is going to observe your future uh, spouse uh, very closely. And they are going to take care that they are doing the right steps. So that they can manifest that material plane that that they were saying on the beginning. Yeah, this is something that I just wanted to clear up because it was somehow standing in the air. So now um, I think that we received all of the informations. And uh, this was your reading, pile number two. You now see what and who are the people that are surrounding your future spouse. And you can see and you can receive the vibe how they are going to act or what they are going to feel or do uh, when you are going to actually start being together. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. It was very interesting. I really enjoyed this one. Uh, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, like or share. Uh, if you have a feeling like you want to share your story with the rest of us, I think that that is very beautiful and I always support commenting on my channel. So please feel free and just type and write whatever you feel. Uh, I'm definitely reading and replying all of your comments. So I want to thank you. Uh, I want to thank everyone who recently subscribed as well. Uh, uh, and I want to say big, big, big thank you to everyone who already there from the beginning following me. The channel is really uh, beautifully growing. So I'm very grateful for everything that you are doing. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day or evening wherever you are. Bye. Hello, pile number three. Pile number three. Today we are going to make a reading that is going to be connected with your future spouse, uh, family or friends. We don't know who we are going to get. I'm going to now uh, firstly pull out five people. So we're going to pull out five people. And first of all, we are going to detect who these people are. So I believe that these are the five most important or closest people to, to your person. And we are going to see first who they are. And then after that, we are going to see um, how their opinion or feeling uh, will be towards you when you are going to meet your spouse. Uh, so we are going to take five of uh, clarifying cards. And we're also going to take uh, five oracles because I want to really receive the vibe there so that we can more easily determine, uh, determine it who is whom. Because that, that sometimes it's not very easy, but sometimes we really receive a very clear, you know, like messages and we know who is whom. So um, let's start to reveal your cards and let's start seeing who are these people. So we have a boy, how I call him, with 10 of wands and synchronicity. Then we have again a boy with 5 of wands and relax. Then we have a uh, is. Okay, I will explain to you what is it is for me. And three of swords with manifest. Then we have the queen with page of cups and observe. And we have another queen 
with page of swords and reflect okay so point number three beautiful cards let's dive into your reading right now to see who are these people and who is whom so with this boy over here and with this boy over here so we have two boys over here and we have the wands energy both both, both wands energy i have a very strong feeling that this could be siblings of your person this could be brothers of your future spouse because i'm reading these genders uh, literally how they are so i believe that these are the brothers of your future spouse either uh, for some of you could be best friends so it could be that these two guys here are the two best friends of your future spouse very close i mean by that or two brothers of your future spouse now this is a general reading so we cannot determine things with a great detail uh, because there are a lot of energies there but uh, those are the options and the feelings and the vibes that i receive from here so this person here is somebody who is a um, very good problem solver this is a person who was always there for your future spouse and they were always holding their back literally so they were there when they were in trouble or anything was happening to them this person was there to help them to um, be there as a support but mostly you know like i have a feeling like when your future spouse messed up something you know this person pulled them out from that mess and that is why i have a feeling like they are a little bit more mature <laughs> than your future spouse because they were also taking they were very very much taking care of them with this synchronicity, we see that they were always on the right place at the right time. So every time when your future spouse really needed them, you know, this person was really there. And this is a very beautiful relationship that I feel here. This is somebody that your future spouse really, really um, cares about and appreciates. And uh, they know how much this person works, you know, uh, priceless. With this energy here, I receive a different type of energy, a little bit less mature energy than your future spouse. And I feel somebody who is, you know, initiator of the shit, if I can say it like that. Somebody who is the one who is saying, you know, like, come on, let's do this. But it's too risky, but it's like that, but maybe we'll not make it. But this person is saying, no, let's do it. We can do it. You know, like one time we are living and so on and so on. So this person is like that. They are uh, not afraid of anything they're very brave and they are acting faster than they are thinking so with this relax here i have a feeling like they go from opposites to opposites like firstly they do something totally crazy that kills the adrenaline you know and then they go in total mode of relaxation like they receive their dose but i can also feel that this person is very very um close to your future spouse and they have been through many many challenges together actually i have a feeling like these three people your future spouse and these two people they were very connected and they were going through many things together i see this um like a like a trio energy you know very important people that is why i'm saying it could be brothers or it could be friends with this ace here I feel this energy as a somebody who is much younger than your future spouse. And uh, this could be for very little amount of you. It could be a child from a previous marriage from your future, uh, future spouse, or it could be a younger sibling. It could be somebody who is a brother or a sister. We don't receive the gender right here. So it could be somebody who is a little bit younger than them. And it is maybe a half sister or brother. So that is why we have these swords here and this manifest here. With the swords here and three of swords here, um, I have a feeling like maybe they, uh, they had quite turbulent relationship with this person at the beginning. It could be that maybe they were not close they were or they were not in contact even and they found out about them later in life which really deeply surprised them and hurt them in a different kind of way i have a feeling like um 
this is this is some kind of situation that you basically don't see coming it is something that um, you are not prepared for but uh, but also at the same time this person came or is in your future spouse life with a purpose and this person this purpose is that they need to help this person they need to help them to manifest something and i think that your future spouse will recognize this role and they will totally understand why they are here and that is why they are keeping actually this person in their life and after all it becomes a very important person in their life so we're talking about somebody who is very young with this queen energy here and queen energy here, now I receive two different flavors of energy. With this energy here, I received a very warm energy. And with this energy here, I received quite uh, strong and determinate energy. Uh, I could say that uh, these, these women could be mother and the grandmother of your uh, future spouse and i feel this strong energy of um, this could be the mother and this could be the grandmother because i have a feeling like the grandmother is extremely is extremely warm somebody who is very supportive somebody who may be a little bit spoiled even your um your future spouse i have a feeling like they have a really really close relationship with their grandma and uh, that their grandma was really observing them since they were very little. So they spent time with her. And I have a feeling like they always receive that warmth and always that beautiful, um, beautiful, deep feelings. You know, they were always looking at them in such a special way. They loved them very much since they were a child. So I think that this is a person, their grandma, I have a feeling. And with this person, I have a feeling like it is their mother because with this reflect card, I have a feeling like they look alike. So it is somebody who also, you know, transferred the genes. So they look alike their mother a little bit. And, and I have a feeling like they are more firm, you know, like they, they are more honest concerning that. They also have this protective energy with this uh, page of swords. I have a feeling like they always want to be fair and honest and not misguide their child. And I have a feeling of that, uh, that protectiveness. Something is, you know, giving me that flavor of protectiveness. So now when we detected who is whom in this reading, I want to take a, a, a few cards that is going to tell us how those people are feeling towards you. Or better to say how they are going to be feeling towards you when you enter their lives. So we are going to take these cards and we are also going to take a few of the clarifying cards. Just a moment. It's going to be from this deck. Let's take this and this. So uh, we will see what information can we pull out from this reading. Okay, so here we have a page of swords. We have two of wands. Okay. Then we have the hangman. And we have the King of Pentacles. We have reversed three of uh, Pentacles and we have seven of Pentacles. We have the blank card, interesting. And we have Queen of Pentacles, beautiful. Uh, and here we have reversed four of Cups and we have uh, Justice. Okay, so this is how I feel pile number three. This person here and this person here, we said best friends or brothers. Um, this person here who had their back always and who was taking care of them so that they don't get into trouble. Uh, they are definitely going to, um, you know, talk with them and they are definitely going to be thrilled with your new beginning with your spouse. With these two of wands, they are going to definitely push them to see the new horizons. So this could be, for example, um, in the case if you and your husband, this is general reading, so take it with a grant of salt. 
Uh, this could be, for example, if your future spouse um, needs to come to your, if you are in the two different countries and he or she needs to move. So their brother or best friend, whatever it is, they're going to push them to see this. For others um, who do not have that situation, this is definitely going to be um, uh, the team of uh, your future spouse deciding to change something, to pursue something new, to change their lifestyle or to change their residence together with you or to even to, you know, like seek for a bigger place to stay, bigger house, bigger something or a different neighborhood. But I have a feeling like this person is going to look at uh, your situation very down to earth, very practical, and they are going to definitely support them in the way that they provide very good conditions for you and your spouse. So you're going to be very well accepted by this person. And they're going to take care about your well-being. And with this person here, they are always seeing things a little bit different because like we, like we said, uh, they love to make risks, risks that crazy person with this King of Pentacles. And they're somebody who is like, you know, seeing things in a different way. They are very specific. They are very crazy. It's a crazy person. Definitely, you know, like some, some, uh, one of those friends, when you have like a crazy friend, this is definitely their crazy friend or crazy brother. And they are definitely going to see you as a catch. They are going to see you as somebody with whom they can have a lot of passion and a very fun life. Which gives me also a feeling like you are fun and you love to do fun things. And you are going to be very, very interesting, adventurous person. I think that they are going to uh, immediately, you know, like test you through some kind of adventures that they are going to initiate. And I think that they are going to like you very much, that you are going to uh, have a, a good relationship with, with this brother or a friend of theirs. With this young person here, uh, we see this card here reversed. This is usually also a card of a marriage. And this gives me some kind of feeling like, again, this could be their half sibling, something that happened uh, before, maybe from their father's other marriage or past life or, you know, I mean, not past life, past life, this life, but uh, you know what I mean, something that they had before the vibe is coming, something like that is coming. And with this seven of pentacles here, I have a feeling like this person, this young person is, there is this abandoned vibe. So I think that your future spouse is going to definitely, you know, like they, they will want to embrace them into the life because it seems like this person will only have them. That is how I feel. And how they are going to feel towards you. I think that they are going to accept uh, everything how it is going. I don't think so that they will think about you too much. Because I think that they are somebody who is in their own mind. And they are very young. So you see uh, they have some kind of unfinished business or relationships that needs to go to the end. Or to the conclusion. So I think that you will not have... Um, some kind of deep relationship with this with this person but uh, they are definitely going to feel how nourishing you are and how warm you are and they are going to enjoy your vibe and when they are going to visit you they will always you know enjoy how generous you are how welcoming you are so it's going to be beautiful with this uh, figure here this is a mother figure we said no this is a grandmother figure and with this blank card and queen of pentacles i have a feeling like they were many times supporting your future spouse through life uh, financially and i think that this is is also going to happen when you enter the li their, their life. I think that the grandma is going to be somebody who is going to give you uh, as their support. Uh, they are going to, uh, she is going to give you some kind of present, some kind of amount of money for your new beginning. So with this, you can see how much she appreciating this connection and marriage because she will be, uh, you know, very happy to invest to give. To, to give something that she earned, that she put aside for your new beginning, for your new start, which is very beautiful and generous. The mother is going to definitely have the feeling of moving from the past. So she will feel that her child is finally moving from some kind of cycle from the past. It could be that they were stuck with somebody very long time, uh, very unhappy, or it could be that they were 
maybe one thing to be with somebody who was there in their life since their childhood or somebody that they knew and the mother knew that this person is not good for them so when they will meet you and start with you the mother is going to be very happy because she is going to feel that justice is happening that they finally are moving from this you know like box that they were imprisoned basically before and their life is continuing in a beautiful direction uh, different and better and more positive for them so the uh, mother is going to definitely see uh, your connection as something that has a beautiful future and uh, a lot of things in front and she will definitely want to be a part uh, of of it uh, of course nothing extreme the mother will not be that type of a person who needs to control and that she needs to always be everywhere but she really wants to share the life and be there together with you to enjoy the beautiful memories and the beautiful time that you will have together Pile number three, this was your reading and it was very beautiful reading because we saw so many things about the people that are closest and surrounding your future spouse. I hope that this gave you clarity and the peace on your way and that you found this information useful. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, like or share. Uh, if you have a need to comment and to share your story with the rest of us, I assure you that uh, everyone loves to read comments and we really enjoyed it. Um, I want to say big, big, big thank you to everyone who just recently subscribed to my channel. Uh, thank you so much for coming and being around and I want to give my appreciation to everyone who are there from the start. I see you and I feel you and I love having you around. Thank you so much for helping me to grow this channel and I hope that you are going to enjoy uh, next videos as well. Have a beautiful day wherever you are and see you very soon. Bye.